Houghton. Hello everyone and welcome to the show. If you're one for an artistic flair, then today's show will be right up your street. Here's a taste of what we have in store. Comedy, music, cabaret, what more could you want from an evening's entertainment? Bodo Varka from Hamburg is guaranteed to make you laugh. His song lyrics are snappy, silly, rhyming and all too familiar, which is why audiences roll over with laughter as he addresses some of the most common mishaps of everyday life. For the first time, though, he's written a serious song with a political message, and on his recent tour, it's been a welcome addition to his otherwise hilarious set list. Moving on then, we turn to our Express, which kicks off with a report on e-bikes and how they're becoming more and more popular with people across all ages. Now, I'm sure we all know the story of Wolfgang Beltracchi, the German painter who forged millions of euros worth of classic paintings. In spite of the damage he did, he's actually a truly great artist with the skills to paint in whichever style he chooses. This is how he became so successful as a forger, of course. But with the past nicely behind him, he's trying to succeed in his very own right. We continue now with our series, which also has a focus on art, this time in the name of ceramics. The entire series this week focuses on small towns in Europe that were the birthplace for something much bigger. Today, we're off to Italy and to Vienna. Um, an area 50 kilometers southeast of Bologna. It was in Roman times that the production of ceramics began in this small town, and today the town's residents are keeping this traditional art form alive. If only we had 4D social media as well, that way you'd be able to smell or taste the dishes that we bring you in our a la carte. Unfortunately, technology's not quite there yet, so instead we provide you with the recipe so you can cook anything that we feature yourselves at home. You can find them all on our website, which is hopefully coming up just below. And today you will see a recipe for wild boar with mushrooms. We're off to Poland to have the dish cooked up for us. A wholesome dish for when the evenings draw in. Are food reports the ones that you enjoy most on Euromax? If so, please do let us know. You can do that by going to our website and clicking on the picture of the iPod Shuffle. That is what is up for grabs in this week's prize draw, just for filling in our feedback form. We'll announce the winner at the end of the week, so stay tuned for that. Right now, though, that is all we have time for, so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.